Never thought in a million years I'd end up on a wall like this. It's hard to believe it. This one here. So many historical pictures. But here it is. I'm very much a big person for black and white imaging. I, I love black and white. And I love how this dominates the whole picture. And then obviously the second one here. And then it shows how small we really, really are as human beings. That's a really beautiful picture. I can relate to this one because I have a son and I asked my girlfriend if it was okay if I documented her. Obviously, different circumstances, but I understand the exhaustion that she's going through. Um, I understood her changes as a mother. I understood her growth as a woman. To me, this is home. This reminds me exactly of home. Especially that, and that, <laughs> you know, I remember having to run across the sand as a kid and the sand was so hot it was like melting glass on my feet. It brings back every memory of when I was a kid. Yeah. Well, in theory, I really shouldn't be here because I never sent the image, my girlfriend did. It was maybe 30 of us hiding behind a bush and we were probably a good 25 metres away from where the Hungarian police were so we had to keep very quiet. They pulled out pepper spray and just sprayed the whole area. So what we had to do is we had to cover all the babies' faces so that basically if they start coughing, it's all done, it's all finished. So we had to cover up all the children. So there was a, like a big kind of dirt kind of gutter 45 degrees, so I'm kind of literally standing kind of like that to take this picture. Well, on the other side here where the, the orchards were, they literally dumped their bags and left everything. So everything they were carrying was gone. And all they took was the children. Children and obviously the money in their pockets just to get out of that area real quickly. These people are starting all over again. The lucky one is this one here, you know. This child will be able to integrate quite easily, but him it's going to be much harder. All I hope is that we as human beings embrace these people as our friends as opposed to, you know, thinking that they're something that they're not. You know, I would hope that we can really, you know, it's a changing times. What we're in, we're living in changing times and we need to, we need to accept the fact they're here. Yeah.